Did you get that? It's okay. I got it too. Okay, this Panasonic is in 4K. It runs around $800 right now. It's one of the, I never, I didn't know if I'd like it or not, but I bought it to try it out and I love it. It's got 25 power zoom on it. Uh, reasons I like it is battery life. You can put it in your, if you're in your tree stand, you can sit there in your tree and all you have to do is close the door and when you open it up, it automatically kicks on almost instantly and you and uh, that and then whenever you're done and you want to shut it off it'll save battery just close the door and it shuts down lasts for hours like that it's got a no shake feature it says it's on right now and when you manually focus this is a nice another nice feature about it you zoom in on whatever you want and then it has a small knob on the side right here and you rotate it and until it turns blue and whenever all these blue dots pop up then you're focused for whatever distance that is wide angle the whole way out then your zoom lever is right on the top now I just uh, manually focus this on this tree and if you zoom in the 25 power that is exactly as clear as you're going to get it now the tree line is going to be blurry a little bit out there because it's still in manual if I take it out of manual put it in auto Let it auto focus and I run that out. Now that tree line is 150 yards and it automatically focuses right in. Then when you're done, boom, comes up green. You paused it, save your battery life, close it up, shuts down. When you want to use it again, you open it up, instantly comes back on. Now the G50 we did a review on earlier, it takes seconds, seven seconds to power up. This automatically powers up. And I'm really impressed with the video it takes, the clarity, the color, everything. Another feature, on the G50 we use a mic and we use a shoe to hook it up to the camera. This uh, has been extremely good without uh, a mic hooked up to a shoe, an external mic. The only disadvantage to the whole camera, I mean, it's really light too. The only disadvantage to the whole camera is you can't hook up a, re a remote on a, on a tripod. Uh, you have to do it manually by hand and to hit the start button and the photo and the telephoto and the wide angle is so easy right there it's I've never had an issue with it there's your button for your still pictures if you want to go to a still picture it has a uh, windshield so that it doesn't pick up when it's windy out it doesn't pick up a noise from the wind and it comes with this little cover on the end when you shut it off, it that's another thing. When you shut it off, it automatically covers the lens so you don't get dirt on it. You open it up, the lens cover automatically opens. And when you close it, it automatically closes. Keeps your lens clean at all times. Keeps the dust out. And this focus for manual, you just push the button down and run it up and down. You can do it in a matter of seconds. You just got to watch that once you focus into that, 
that you don't focus too close at a different distance because then it'll get blurry on you again. But it does have a shoe adapter for an external mic on it and it comes with uh, a mount. I just didn't find any reason to need it because this mic up here works fine. When charging it, all you do is plug it in right there. They give you a charger for it. Close it up. Your SD card, right underneath. Then your battery, very easy. Just push down on this button, pops right off. Put it back on there. Line it up, and it pops right back in there. Even when you're on a tripod, it doesn't interfere, so you can change batteries without pulling it off the tripod. Uh, I don't know why it says 25 power zoom on it, but whenever I'm zooming in, it only goes up to 20, 20 power. But it's plenty of zoom for anything you need, especially hunting. And in close ranges, unless you're hunting groundhogs or something like that, uh, you don't need any more power than, than 20. In fact, most of the time, I don't even get halfway on it. I don't even get to 10 or 12. Most of the time, I'm running like 3 or 4 uh, for archery hunting, especially, because they're always under like 20 yards. Nice camera for under $1,000. $7.99 or whatever it was. So light, stick it in your backpack, get out there, put it on your bipod. Has the same hookup as anything else. This is the one of the bipods. Just screws in there. Oh, and there's your hookups right there. So you can have some sample uh, footage of it with this camera. You can look in the corner of the screen and uh, there's some videos that we took with this camera and I also put some uh, videos on there of turkeys that we took this morning when we were out uh, scouting. Okay, if you're watching this video, which you are, uh, hopefully this will help you out. Uh, I can't think of a better camera to get right now for starting out under a grand. Uh, the only thing I could see that's really a negative on it is that you can't, uh, you, you can't use a wired remote with it. But it's a great little camera. You can't beat it for the price. It's light. It's not bulky. So battery life is great because you can shut it off and open it up and it's instant turn on. I, love, I, I've, I didn't know how I'd like this camera, but I love it. How do you hunt sitting there on a rock? Constantly. What? <laughs> right now, relax. What the heck is that? That one. Oh my god. That's a jackhammer. Make sure you put that on there. Jackhammer? Jackhammer. 125. Wasp jackhammer 125. And this is the result right here. Nine point, Venango County. That blue rope wasn't on him. He wasn't tied up either. He wasn't tied up? <laughs> Looks like a good entrance hole. Is that the entrance or exit? Uh, that's Ent the entrance. Entrance yeah. hole. The exit ain't a whole lot bigger. Well, it might be if you get him out. Yeah. Nice, nice size deer. I'm guessing 35, 40 yards and he stopped. He started twitching that tail. You know, I thought, where did I hit him? And then he kind of circled back again, maybe 10 yards, and he just laid down by a log, he gave his head up, and then he rolled over all four, come up. That was that. I was talking to Dirk, as he's gone now, because his, his belly up, you know, like them old groundhogs do when you hit them. Well, there's one for the wasp jackhammer. Yeah. 
Another one for the camp. Three Bs. Venango County Buck. Yep. What is this? 29th. This is the same day I shot mine on last year up here. Really? Yep. Yeah. Same day. Same day. Not far either. Not, not far from where you were at. No. The crow flies, maybe. But that's that's a nice that's a nice deer there. Quarter mile maybe. You got that split split brow on that one side yeah. there. It like it's not even split, it's just kinda like palmated. Yeah. But uh that's well, a nice deer. I said that there at least a six. Because all I could see was he had three up, you know. Congratulations. Thanks, Al.